Yo, yo, what is going on, everybody? Back here with another episode of the podcast, and I am proud to say that I'm back with uh, my bro, Phil Liu, who I haven't talked to in a while. Um, He was requested by um, a few of the guys that I've had on before, specifically Brandon Yan and Jesse Barron. So shout out to those guys. Phil, what's going on, bro? What's going on, Tim? How you been? I've been good, man. I've been good. Um, Through everything going on in the world right now, I mean, I'm still here. We're still doing our thing. Um, What about you, bro? How are you? Yeah, pretty good. Started school again. Yeah. Been watching NBA in the bubble. Yeah. Crazy. Just hanging at home. Yep. Yeah, I feel it. Um, where you you go to Cal Poly, right? Is that right? Yeah. How's yeah, that Cal been? Slow. It's been good. Yeah. Or Enjoying at least the it. first year. How was? How did yeah, that go? Yeah, first first couple quarters were good. Uh, you know, just just getting through through school and uh, figuring it out. Uh, adapted pretty well. But yeah, it's been it was a good time while yeah. I was there. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, what did you or what are you majoring in right now? Um, I'm majoring in business administration, oh, yeah. and then uh, I picked concentration, so I'm in uh, accounting and information systems. Oh, nice, dude. Nice. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of the business route too. Um, I'm doing marketing. Okay, um, cool. Yeah. Yeah, at Lospo, but uh, we're transferring after this year, uh, so right. we'll see how that goes. But uh, where are you looking at? I mean, I, dude, I I say it every I think every show, but like uh, SoCal is where I want to be. Sure. Um, yeah. I'm applying to like USC, uh, San Diego State, um, Irvine, um, and Fullerton too. So, okay. yeah. um, obviously, like some of those schools that I named, particularly USC, they cost a fortune. But uh, I mean, I just said, why not? You know, this is probably going to be the last time sure. I'm going to be applying to colleges. So, if I get in, I get in, and if I don't, I don't. So, I mean, yeah, man. it is what you it is. You never know. You never know. Exactly. So, I mean, yeah. and then, hey, if I get some scholarships or something, then that's yeah, even yeah. better. So, yeah, yeah, that's a plus. But, yeah. yeah. How was uh, how was it kind of like living in, what, San Luis Obispo, right? Yeah. Uh, it's, a, it's a cool town. It's a little college town. Yeah. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of hikes and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. A little downtown area. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, dorm life was is is okay, yeah. <laughs> not the best experience, but <laughs> it was okay. Yeah, like I would say, I would say it's a, a good and bad thing that the the school year kind of ended early. <laughs> yeah, I feel it. Uh, it's was, it was tough living in the dorm. I would say a little bit. Yeah. yeah, I mean, did you at least have like a good roommate or something? Or all right, I had I had two roommates, so I was living in a triple. We had really mm-hmm. nice dorms, so it was like yeah. brand new, pretty much. So. Uh, dorms were great but then uh, yeah roommate I had one that was cool uh, yeah one was cool but then the other one was like straight pothead like, really it's it yeah. pretty rough yeah yeah he didn't he didn't know really what to do in college and everything so it's yeah. it kind of rough yeah, yeah I think like it's crazy like freaking in college um, it, it's really easy to kind of see like uh like who's taking it seriously and who isn't like you can definitely tell who's been there you know for more than four years or who's kind of you know just taking a class a a year so i mean there's nothing wrong with that but i mean you know yeah more money out of your pocket is something most people try to avoid but you know um some people just go for the experience which is hey i mean i'm that's cool either way if you can afford it go ahead but yeah yeah man yeah yeah. yeah, he had a, he had a little bit too much freedom, I think. But <laughs> a little too much I, don't know. I, I thought for a second he wasn't gonna come back after like Thanksgiving break or something. Yeah, <laughs> he like took everything with him. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. It was, it was cool though. It's it was a good experience for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah, I have a friend who lives. Um, or he, yeah, he's actually going to Cuesta College right now. Oh yeah, yeah, that's yeah. True. He lives out there. Um, okay. But yeah, he says you know it's it's a college town. I mean, I've personally been out there and visited the campus. Um, but yeah, I heard like, you know, like he, in particular, he surfs a lot. So he said he surfs uh, yeah. a lot. A lot of people like surfing. Yeah. yeah. Surfs. Um, I mean the housings, I mean, it's kind of nice cause everything's kind of there and like, mm-hmm. you know, if you have a bike, I mean, that's perfect. Yeah. Um, yeah. you don't really need a car, but I mean, just like kind of being, having everything there is kind of nice. So, I mean, yeah. there is that, but. 
there's also some things that it's just like you know San Luis Obispo like that's all that's there is just Cal Poly you know but yeah yeah but yeah I mean yeah it's still a good school still a great school I mean yeah. I think it, you know either way you know people coming out of there will have some you know some success getting you know to and from there but yeah man yeah for sure so yeah I think the one thing that I missed from at home being out there was probably like Asian food yeah it was, it was tough <laughs> finding it. some Asian food out it. there I feel it, yeah <laughs> yeah man Asian food like it's not something you can find everywhere like quality yeah. Asian food oh for sure yeah. especially in like San Jose Dublin um I know I'm probably forgetting a ton of other cities that probably have it. Union City, maybe. Um, the Bay, obviously. I mean, you know, Asian food. I mean, like I like I don't know. You're Phil's Asian, obviously, guys. If you don't, <laughs> if you don't under like, if if you don't like, like if you can't tell, his last name's Lou. But um, I don't know. Kind of like, I mean, I mean, you're yeah, you're yeah, you're Asian American. So kind of growing up with like Chinese food. Yeah. So like Asian food kind of how was that for you because I know some people that couldn't stand it like my brother and then I know yeah. some people like like myself and my sister that actually enjoyed it like kind of how was your you know experience with Chinese food growing up as a kid you know it's interesting like I feel like my mom doesn't make a lot of Chinese dishes mm -hmm. like at all but like I definitely enjoy eating Chinese food but like out or like where I live like in San Ramon not the best but like definitely like in the city like if we go back there and visit family like you have to eat chinese food out right. there yeah it's definitely, definitely better but yeah i don't know i feel like growing up definitely enjoyed chinese food yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 i mean unlike yeah my mom on the other hand she always cooked chinese food like i think she doesn't uh, cook it as much anymore but um as a kid i like there are some dishes i like there's some things i didn't like the real like authentic stuff like the real like stuff that that's you know not at like panda and stuff like i, I didn't oh, yeah. like that <laughs> um yeah i was more like you know you know the pork chops the chicken um yeah. duck mm -hmm. i like the soups the soups are good yeah. um and then like you know kind of the i don't know the the like the beef or whatever that uh -huh. stuff was good but whenever she made like i don't know like tofu i couldn't stand tofu <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of tofu. I'm not, I'm yeah, not a tofu yeah. guy, man. I don't. I don't know what it is. It's just. Yeah. It's just tasteless. Um, yeah. What was it? Tofu. Um. It's like choy, like uh, just yeah. vegetables. Choy. I. I couldn't Dang. stand choy. Um. <laughs> what else? Tomato beef. I don't know if you know that tomato beef with. Yeah. Yeah. yeah tomato beef. I don't, yeah. I'm not a big tomato beef guy, but I like the fishes and stuff. But you know. Definitely, I'm more like open to eating some of that stuff now. But like as a kid, yeah. I was just like, eh. It's whatever, yeah. Yeah, yeah but, for sure. But yeah, man, Asian food. I mean, I definitely hope wherever I go to college, there's at least some good places out there. But yeah, definitely, definitely scope out some places yeah. that you can get out. Yeah. <laughs> really though, like not even one place, not one place. All right, all right. If you like, if you Yelp like Asian food, yeah, you get like five like results and like number two or three is probably panda express so like <laughs> that's when you know it's pretty <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like that. damn bro that's and like and dining insane. dining hall food oh man okay like is is pretty rough like the selections were pretty slim and like we were supposed to have this dining hall that was like supposed to open uh last year or whatever or even mm -hmm. like a couple years ago but kept getting delayed and delayed and then finally i think this year opened up but yeah i don't know if it's too yeah. great yeah. i haven't heard too much about it but yeah yeah i don't know yeah i've i've i have friends from different uh you know who go to different universities and stuff yeah. so yeah i i get i definitely get mixed reviews about uh you know on campus oh, food sure. yeah i mean i've heard a lot of bad some good though some good <laughs> yeah. um yeah. But yeah, I mean, you got to do what you got to do to survive, I guess. Uh, but, for sure, yeah. You got to eat. Yeah. I mean, it's accessible, so I mean, I mean, I just, yeah. Hopefully yeah. it's, yeah. You can live. Yeah, this is something you can actually eat, but yeah, man. Um, anyway, dude, I was like, I was like, I went on your account yesterday, like your your Insta, by the way, yeah. follow Phil on Instagram, <laughs> in the, uh, on the screen and in the link in the description. Um, but I saw this thing in your bio. It's uh, hold on a second. 
It's this thing, uh, pal. Ah, uh, yeah. It's pal, <laughs> and it looks it looks to be some sort of like clothing brand. And I'm like, <laughs> like, do we have like like is this a clothing brand? Like you kind of all right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, let me explain a little bit. So, yeah. <laughs> high school, like I had this thing called pal. Like I just like never really pursued it. It was like it was supposed to kind of be like a clothing type thing yeah. or whatever, right? But uh, you know, I just I just never like like pursued it or or went through with the process but uh i think let's see i think senior year summer or something mm-hmm. or whenever it was but a couple years ago i made like a set of shirts like maybe like 30 shirts or something mm-hmm. like that and just like sold them to my friends or whatever mm-hmm. gave some to my family just to wear but oh, yeah. yeah i don't know i think it's kind of just more like a personal thing oh, okay. and like also like i kind of got into like a little bit of graphic design senior year mm. so like i would like throw like pal on whatever mm, yeah. just kind of like self-promote a little bit and, yeah yeah never yeah. really took off oh yeah. okay yeah is there any think, like hope of maybe starting it up again and maybe i don't know if that's you but have you yeah ever thought i mean like it? i always have it in the back of my mind like mm. i don't know like streetwear and like clothing and stuff like that is something i have passion of uh, passion for but mm. um i don't know it it'd always be nice to have like a little side hustle or yeah a little side company <laughs> if i had that but i don't know we'll see yeah yeah i feel it like because i i guess yeah in my at my old high school we had a couple uh um yeah there are a couple brands that some people made yeah. um one of them was called sweat i don't know if you heard of it probably haven't but <laughs> shout out to those people who did sweat i guess but yeah, they did like shirts and stuff, but uh, yeah. overpriced a little bit. <laughs> I didn't. Yeah. I never bought one, but um, there. There's also this other kid, man. He sold like, he sold like these straws. These straw. I don't know if you've ever heard of it. Eco straw. I don't know. It's just yeah. like yeah. a sustainable a, straw. Yeah, or whatever. metal straws okay. that yeah, fold yeah. Okay. and like you put in like these little keychain holders. They sold oh. those, okay. um, which was interesting because. They would just buy them off Amazon and yeah, yeah, and, and just, just resell them. them. Yeah. And so, yeah. so yeah, um, and yeah, they they sell them for a bunch of money. And like, I mean, I mean, a lot of people bought them. So like, it's like, I yeah. mean, I'm not, I'm not bagging on it at all. But yeah. um, uh, definitely, if you're starting, if you're trying to like sell something or like just mess around and create a brand, definitely start it in high school and like yeah. actually try it. Because like yeah. after high school, it's it's hard to yeah hard to promote stuff like yeah. that, but. You know, high school is pretty easy to get stuff out there like that. Yeah, I think it's also easy just because, like, I mean, you you see the same people every day. It's not like you know yeah. you go to you, yeah you're like thrown into a bigger pond at like per se like a college or yeah uh, something like that. And like high school, like you see, you know, the same faces and like you know, I mean, you can kind of see how, like how it goes if it really takes off. Maybe you could do something with it after. I mean, which you still probably can, but you know. Yeah. Um, but obviously like if it, if it flops, you know, it's, there, there's kind of no point, yeah. but you know, it's, yeah, it's definitely something people think about and more power to those people who like put themselves out there, start brands. So I thought that was, sure. I thought that was kind of cool. So I was like, yeah. I was like, uh, damn, this guy I has a clothing brand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wish I did more with it, but yeah, it's all good. Yeah. Yeah. That's tight though, man. That's, that's really cool. But yeah. Anyway. Yeah, we used to play baseball too together. Yeah, yeah. yeah me and my those guy Phil. Days. Yeah, miss, miss those days. Miss those days. I was yeah. actually uh, at the fields uh, this afternoon with um, with Sam. Uh, okay, yeah, Drew. I, I saw your story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and and Dylan and uh, yeah, and we were j- we just go out there and horse around and stuff. But yeah, yeah. Do you ever like still like play catch or anything or just? Uh, I played catch stuff? a couple times. Yeah. I, I brought my glove to school, yeah. so I played catch a couple times. Yeah, uh, with some kids, but yeah, haven't played like mm. a game or like no. anything. Took yeah. ground balls or anything yeah. for a long time. Yeah, man, but, it's been yeah, a minute. Definitely miss it. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I I also think like it's crazy because like, dude, like I was only out there for like maybe three hours and we were kind of just like horsing around and stuff. Uh-huh. Dude, I'm sore. Like I'm shot. Oh yeah. 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 My sure. arm is shot. Like, I don't like, think I could, I don't even think I could like hit a ball or like yeah. throw anymore. Yeah. 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 Like, I mean, I mean the first times I kind of like picked up my, like, you know, I started like 
we we've gone like the past couple weeks on like Saturdays or something just to go, uh-huh. I don't know, do live or whatever. And then, um, you know, these past few times we've just been doing cage work, but like, dude, like the first time I got like three blisters, Oh man, I was just like, Oh boy, here we go again. Jeez. And then the next yeah. time I got like one blister and then today I actually didn't get a blister, but my hands really hurt, you know? Uh-huh. So, I yeah. mean, but I mean, I'm still getting the, my money's worth out of the gear that I still have because okay. I have yeah. so much yeah. of it. But yeah. yeah, man, definitely miss it. Really do. But, yeah. I think the last time I like played catch with the actual baseball player was Jesse, like during <laughs> winter break. Yeah. And I was like, do not throw the ball hard because mm. like I know he could throw yeah, harder yeah. than <laughs> before when we were smaller. Yeah. But, like, I was like, don't throw it hard. My reaction time isn't that good yeah. anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like crazy. weird. It's weird because like um, when I'm playing catch, like I mean, normally like when we were in season, just yeah. you know practicing, you know, twice or three times a week, and then having games, uh-huh. you know, I, I I wouldn't think about the ball like going through my glove oh, or like yeah, missing definitely. it or like wearing it in the <laughs> face. But yeah. the, so like you know, Sam still plays, and yeah, like yeah, yeah. he throw he throws a little hard. I mean, he's a catcher; he's got to have a gun. So like yeah. sometimes like when he's like hucking it at me, I kind of like get out of the way. I'm like I'm like, hey man, That's chill. Funny. Like yeah. I, I think today like even like we were doing long toss. Like uh-huh. we went a full football field. I was like oh, a man. million hopping it. I don't think I could do that him. anymore. Yeah. I needed a cutoff, man. I'm like I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm under throwing yeah. my cutoff, man. Um, yeah. it's just terrible. And then at the end, he's like, all right, we're just gonna do one more throw. He comes about. <laughs> he's like 20 yards away from me. And, like, this is part of his throwing routine, right? And he Uh, starts running in five yards. And I know he's going to, like, crow hop and just chuck it at me. (laughs) I'm just like, okay, I'm out. Like, he (laughs) he lets this thing fly, and I just get out of the way. I'm just like, I'm not catching that. But, yeah, yeah, man. I mean, those were the days, man. I just, I like. I mean, it's not like basketball, you know? Like, you can just go outside and, like, shoot hoops. Like, I I have a hoop in my driveway. You probably have a hoop around your house, too. Yeah. Um. It's not like something you can just go outside and like, oh, you can like throw a football around or just like, you know, pick up a basketball and, you know, dribble yeah. it or something. I mean, baseball, it's kind of like you need, you need a few people, you know, you can't just play catch yeah. by yourself. For sure. um, so yeah, it's, yeah. it's definitely fun to get back out there and kind of reminisce, but yeah, I mean, yeah. Do you kind of remember how like your last, do, like, do you even remember like your last, like at bat? Oh yeah, yeah, I remember. I have it on. I have it on video too. Yeah. It's funny. So we we're we we're in uh in the playoffs mm. uh, against Foothill actually. Shout out Drew York. Drew York's on. Drew. Yeah. <laughs> um, but let's see. Oh, I don't remember who was on the mound, but uh, so this is the playoffs, and we we're. I don't know. We snuck into the playoffs, and uh, I think this is. I don't even know what round it was in the playoffs, but. I think if we beat Foothill, we would have played uh, De La Salle or something like that. Damn. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're uh, let's see, we were already down by like six runs or whatever. We were kind of, mm. we kind of blew it that game, but yeah, uh, yeah my last at bat, I was definitely like feeling the emotions yeah. like on deck or whatever. You're like like I was like, it. damn, this really could be my last <laughs> at bat. But like, I think I went down o two real quick. Uh, but then. Uh, I, like hit a little bloop shot like my signature bloop shot oh, yeah. like right over second base or like Dang. up center field or something like that and yeah. got a base hit but hey yeah is yeah i definitely definitely remember that one that yeah. that's cool that like you knew it was kind of your last one you know yeah i know yeah. like is is funny like thinking about that too mm-hmm. like you know you, you get that third out on defense and you yeah. come back in grab your stuff i'm like Damn, this would, this could really be yeah. my last at bat, like, like wow, ever. Man, it's it. But yeah, 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 yeah. Because like, yeah, yeah, that was a tough game. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I feel like a lot of emotions kind of just kind of run through you. But um, yeah, but yeah. I, I I didn't know it was my last at bat for mine. I know that sucks. You yeah. got injured. Yeah, you didn't uh, play and, senior year, right? No, no. I kind of yeah. I gave it up actually after that. Um, so yeah, I'll just kind of go through mine. Um, yeah, we were playing a tournament. I forgot where, honestly. I don't. I don't even know anymore. On the show, right? On yeah, the show. The show, yeah, the, show yeah. yeah, the yeah, the the one year deal. Yeah, with the show. Or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> we were all yeah. like, yeah, that was a fun. That that was probably like the most fun I've had. Yeah, that was a fun year for yeah. summer. Not only just because it's like, 
I mean, obviously with with the slammers, you know, it was much more competitive and um I mean Coach Ray was a great coach. Don't don't yeah. get me wrong. He he was a great coach, but yeah. I mean he was hard on us. I mean it was I yeah. I thought it was good that yeah, he was oh, hard on sure, us. Yeah. Um, it, it instilled discipline and stuff, but you know, having a guy like Jay, I mean, I still talk to Jay. He's in, he's in my fantasy football league. Um, <laughs> but yeah, cool, like yeah. kind of having a guy like him who's more laid back. I mean, it was yeah. it was different. It was very different, but it, it kind of let us just kind of you know relax a little bit, have yeah. a little fun. Um, and yeah, I thought that was kind of nice to kind of just close out my baseball career. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, so like it was freaking. I think we were we were losing. I, yeah, I, yeah, we lost obviously, but um, yeah, I just remember it was like I had a good day that day. Um, I think the day before it wasn't great, but like I made an adjustment because I'm always like so inconsistent. But um, <laughs> yeah, dude, I, I think I was down like I think it was one one. Um, I was seeing the ball great, and then he he just throws me a cock shot. I rip it to the third baseman on a line. I'm like, okay, this dude caught it. I start walking back to the dugout, and apparently the dude dropped it. So I have to, you know, go finish out the. I gotta go leg out this thing, and then I'm just like, "You gotta be kidding me!" And then he throws it, and I'm like, "All right, well, cool, great summer, boys." Because then I got pulled, but um, but yeah, it was crazy because that that was it. You know, I didn't, you know, I didn't think anything of it. I didn't think it was my last game, but um, I didn't really think about it more until like I kind of realize I was done with baseball it wasn't more it, it I didn't get super emotional but it was like it was like dang you know like that was it you know yeah um but you know I mean the memories we had I mean it was it was it was awesome I mean I yeah wouldn't trade it for the world I wouldn't I wouldn't have anything different but um sure. yeah just being out there and you know just kind of like not worrying about anything like yeah. we are now um at a more simpler time like it's yeah i mean it 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 does you know kind of suck that it's over but you know i mean it is what it is and then obviously the injury happened and then um yeah you know it's we live and learn i mean it's a part of life but you know i'm glad to be on the other end of it now so yeah for sure like i was i was really fortunate that i never really got seriously injured like i think that was one thing throughout Mm -hmm. my like baseball career i got pretty lucky with yeah like i never dealt with any like serious injury Mm -hmm. so like i was pretty fortunate with that yeah yeah Yeah, well like yeah you knew pretty discouraging when you yeah you know Yeah. yeah yeah you were pretty uh yeah you were a tough player man like dude Literally, this guy was. I mean, we'd have like back to back double headers, like for like three days. I remember, like, yeah, there's a there's a week we played like six games in three days. Phil played every single game. I'm like, <laughs> dude, like, I would be gassed. Like, I played like four games and I was tired. <laughs> but dude, just Phil was different, man. He, yeah, I mean, and he was and he was very consistent. Um, everything you wanted, you know, just yeah. I mean, he. He, he would put the ball anywhere, like, and he g- would get the job done, whatever it is, hit and run, bunt. Um, yeah, man, I mean, solid at second, too. Like, he sa- he saved me a couple times. There are a couple nah, plays. Man, you saved me. Nah. You, should, you should have been on our high school team. We needed a first baseman bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Everyone's like, yeah, like, transfer to, like, Chabot or something. I'm like, dude, it's over, man. I'm, I'm good. Man, um, we were we were trying to plan this. Me and Jesse and Xavier, we we're like, if we got Jay to coach at Doherty and then had uh, Gilly transfer and then like Drew, crazy. like man, we would have been sta- like you, been crazy. Tra- like it would have been crazy. <laughs> been yeah, dope. yeah, dude. Because yeah, the high school team, dude. My high school team was just, ugh, I don't, I, I didn't even want to play for those guys. You know, it's just it's, like, it's different, like yeah. playing high school compared to high yeah. school and definitely and is, ball, but, yeah, because yeah. yeah. you know one thing I always why you know one thing that I always hated and I think you can attest to too is the freaking politics but yeah for sure yeah. I mean at the end of the day you gotta show out and you know you gotta yeah. you, you gotta prove why you're why, why you should be on the team and you know yeah. sometimes you you know you do come out you know successful sometimes you don't but you know that's with anything in life you know so yeah. Um, yeah I mean I enjoyed the time I had and it was great it was fun um but yeah i mean you know it's you live and learn live and learn 
but yeah i remember one particular play dude you 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 totally saved my ass like oh my god what was it yeah it was with the show and like we were playing a damn near perfect game like i know like we like we weren't shutting them out or did, like uh-huh. like we were playing a good game like we yeah. like we were up like seven one something and then i you know i suck with with with, with uh pop-ups you know i'm terrible with pop-ups uh- <laughs> so a so, little bit, a little bit. <laughs> I'm pretty bad. Um, but yeah, so like there's one up. It was kind of in between me and Phil, but I was just like, all right, I mean, I'm closer to it. I was really hoping you'd call me off, but I'm like, okay, fuck, I got to catch this thing. So then, so then like, I, I call for it. Of course, I totally miss it. And I'm just like, shit. I dude's do gonna be at this play, actually. <laughs> yeah, dude's gonna be on first. Like, luckily, whoever was pitching was covering first base, and Phil was right there, yeah. grabbed the ball, made the play. Because that's so funny. I remember yeah. that play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 that's even yeah. And then I remember there's this other play. Um, we were playing in like Los Angeles. This was with Slammers. Um, I think it was I think it was Firecracker or something. The year we were wearing the powder blue jerseys. Yeah, that yeah, was those ones. Yeah. Um, there was like a play in the hole. Like I probably could have gotten it if I would have taken a step, but I was like, I mean, Phil has all the range in the world. Why? Why would I want to make it easy on him and just you know? But um, <laughs> but yeah, you made this crazy good play and you glove flipped it and we got him. So that was that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, but it's funny. I like can like slightly remember these plays. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah, sure yeah, like little, have, little like pieces. we have like pictures of them or something. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah little pieces funny. like I, I honestly wish I could rewatch every game that we played yeah that'd be crazy I know. we should have had someone record us yeah that would have been have mixed tapes or yeah something. that'd be <laughs> so fun but yeah. yeah but I mean yeah man baseball is fun um are you kind of are you watching the the MLB right now a little bit yes and no not yeah. too much I think I've been watching the Giants here and there but like I think the Giants could slip in as a wild card but yeah, we'll see crazy yeah. Yeah. I know. Yeah, but I don't know. I've been I've been watching here and there. I mm-hmm. think one of the more exciting players is definitely like Tatis Jr. Oh yeah. yeah everyone off. loves yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, there's yeah. a lot of a lot of good players in the league now. Yeah. yeah. And it's kinda cool seeing all these these like uh young guys up, you know. Uh yeah. just cause like, you know, the season's shortened and it's like yeah. some guys are out so it's just like and then the rosters expanded a little bit yeah. so you can kind of see how some of these guys are and if you want to you know keep them on for the postseason roster or kind of mm-hmm. you know play it some other way but mm-hmm. yeah I mean it's it's definitely cool um, but yeah I've been watching the NBA more and yeah, I've been watching sure. NFL more too <laughs> yeah um, yeah I mean baseball's baseball but you know I, I love watching NBA playoffs so yeah me too. Yeah. yeah. Who you got this year? I think the Lakers. I mean, it's it's theirs to lose right now. It's theirs uh, to I lose. I hate to say it, but Lakers. But yeah. 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 But see, like I don't I don't know if like who's a better matchup against the Lakers, Heat or uh, Celtics. Yeah. Like, I was watching the game earlier. Like I can't tell. Yeah. Like I think Heat might be a better matchup. But mm. I don't know. We'll see. I just don't know if the Heat have the size. You know. Yeah. Neither of those teams have the size. Yeah. You know? It's like I think if the Celtics make it, I mean, they're gonna have to like outshoot them. But yeah. I mean, th- there's no big man on the Celtics that can guard Davis or anything. But yeah, like, like what you're gonna throw in like Taco Fall against? Yeah, them? Like, like that's not. I don't gonna think do that's anything. gonna work. <laughs> yeah. 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 He's either too slow. They're either too slow or they're too you know, or or, or they're not tall enough. But yeah. You know, It'll it'll be interesting how it plays out. It's really yeah. different not having the Warriors in the finals, that's for sure. Man, or in the playoffs. Watching. It was but. so weird. Like at school, I didn't watch like a lot of sports, like NBA at all, like yeah. when they were actually playing. And like I had no idea who was even on the Warriors when like everybody was hurt. Like yeah. there were just so many scores yeah. on the team. Like yeah. I didn't even know who it's they just were. Like, who is yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. But dude, they're they're gonna be back next year, I feel like. Yeah, it's for easy. sure. Yeah. I mean, everyone will be healthy. I mean, they got this number two pick somehow, some way. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I was yeah, I was kind of fortunate to actually go to a go to a Warrior game this year before oh, like, really? the okay. pandemic. Yeah, hit. I think it was like in February, like right after All Star. Right, I think it was the first game back in Oracle or not Oracle. Um, Chase, what is it? Chase yeah, Center. Chase, Arena. Yeah, Chase yeah. Center. So that was kind of fun. I mean, they got blown out by the Rockets, but yeah, like you said, man, like 
after the starting lineup, I didn't I don't really know most of these guys like Yeah. Like I, I was just like 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 did this guy just get signed yesterday or like yeah. you know I mean, but yeah, it was definitely weird to see kind of the script flipped. But um, Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's yeah. weird. But yeah, I mean it's it's crazy. It's it's crazy not seeing them like, because I mean I look at the All NBA first team right, and I'm just like, oh yeah, There's Curry's no out, players. Clay's yeah. out, KD's out, yeah. Kyrie's out. I mean, there's so many people injured, so it's like it was kind of yeah. weird because like I kind of forget about those guys sometimes. For but sure. yeah, yeah, it's very interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah, but watching the bubble is nice, you know. Yeah. Just having sports back, it's, yeah. it's a good thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely nice to have something, but yeah, yeah. Anyway, so what else you got kind of going on in your life besides schooling and, you know, anything else new? You, you ever, like, reach out to, like, Jesse or Xavier or any of those guys? Or uh, I keep in touch with Jesse mostly, yeah. yeah. I haven't talked to Xavier in a bit. Uh, it's been a while. I think the last time I spoke with him was, like, winter break or something. Really? Yeah, he's been doing good, though, yeah. 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 I I still have yet to watch Jesse play a game. I still oh, yeah. still need to do that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Season got cut short, but yeah. I heard he was killing it. So mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. He said he was a uh, closing or something. Yeah, he like he's a closer. A closer. Yeah. It's funny. That's, that's sick. Yeah. That's dope. Yeah. yeah. That was a freshman. And then like Razelman, Razelman was yeah. doing good out there. Yeah, I remember. I think him. he had Tommy John or something, but mm-hmm. yeah, he should be back. Yeah. 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 You know, I think I think anybody that got injured like pre-pandemic, like it worked out for them yeah. having this time off. You know, yeah, because they get the extra like, year, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know, I know. I was asking Jesse if like he would stay another year, or like my other friend that he he plays golf at Berkeley. Mm-hmm. I was like, would you want to stay another year to play? And like, yeah. I don't know. It's kind of yeah. It's like you have to be a student, right? So you have yeah. to take classes again. But I don't know. It's it's hard decision. We'll see. I feel like it's good for kind of like the students that, I don't know, haven't gotten enough, like, I don't know, tape or, you know, yeah. opportunities to be out there and play. But, like, mm-hmm. if they're good enough, I feel like, you know, they don't need the extra year. But I think it's yeah. just for, like, those guys, you know, who still kind of want to make this thing work. But, it, you know, at the yeah. same time, if it's not looking too good. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it'll, it'll be interesting how it goes. I mean, mm-hmm. rosters will be stacked. Some people won't get <laughs> yeah. opportunities that they might have gotten. So it's definitely a weird time. Um, but yeah, it's yeah. I mean, it really all depends on like how on like when some of these you know seasons start. Like, I mean, mm-hmm. yeah, it really all depends. So I mean, yeah, like I don't even know how college baseball is gonna work. Like I haven't heard yeah. anything about that. Even junior college know. baseball, nothing. So, yeah. but yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. But like, it even sucks if you're like an incoming freshman, right? And mm-hmm. like, you're like ready to play, and like you got recruited and everything. But like now you don't even go play. So yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't feel, yeah. I don't feel it, bro. Yeah, but yeah, uh, you kind of up to oh been up to uh yeah doing this pod doing this thing. <laughs> see yeah. how this goes. Um, but how yeah. long have you been doing it for? I started like I, I could tell you the exact date. Um, I started this way back um, in like March, no, like May. I want to say. Okay. But yeah. um, this was kind of just an idea, just to give me something to do, just because yeah. I mean the fact of the matter, I was bored as heck. But um, I, tr- I was bored this summer, man. It is yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It was Not a t- yeah. Do. It was a tough summer, but um, yeah, I started this back in. Uh, April started back. April. I did my first episode in April. Yeah. Um, what I used to do is kind of video, uh, like screen record them. But for some reason, my okay. uh, QuickTime player doesn't work anymore. I think like the disc is full, so I've uh, just been doing them um, via audio, and it's been much easier. But yeah, yeah I mean, this is kind of just something that you know, just because I listen to podcasts, and I was just like, yeah. you know what? Why not? You know, I didn't get this mic till. Um, cause I took a break in between like the first eight, um, podcasts and then I got a mic. Yeah. So then I was just like, all right, do yeah. a little upgrading. But, um, <laughs> yeah. but yeah, I mean, this is kind of just something to keep me busy. I think it's cool to kind of catch up with people. I haven't, you know, yeah, talked sure. to in a while. Um, yeah. people from my school, people that I've, you know, played, you know, ball with or, you know, yeah. just anyone else. But, 
um, yeah, I think it's been beneficial kind of to me and people actually want uh, listen to these, believe it or not. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, yeah, but yeah, I mean, it's, yeah, it's cool. It gives me something to do. Um, kind of, kind of like, you know, I get to manage like a little small business. I mean, yeah. per se, I mean, I know this doesn't make any money, but like, you know, I got the, the Instagram account. Um, yeah. I kind of get to plan these out every week and choose who I, you know, want to have on or, you know, and like what kind of, you know, set the pace on, um, how to do it, you know, and, you know, all these people that come on are like super cool and they're like super interesting. So, um, it's kind of cool to like pick their brains on like certain things and, you know, yeah, I mean, it's, it's kind of best beneficial all around, but you know, I, I, I really don't do this for money or anything or for anything. I mean, I just, I mean, the the whole point is kind of like, oh yeah, you know, someday when I don't do this anymore and like, I don't know, I'm doing something else, like I can, you uh, know, kind of look back, you know, reflect yeah. back, yeah. yeah. Um, and I really started like picking up, like making videos and like doing podcasts, mm-hmm. like um, when the pandemic hit, just because I had so much time off. So yeah, I mean, the majority of these videos are probably are going to be like during the pandemic. So. Mm-hmm. Um, kind of remembering how this time kind of was um hopefully when we're past this um yeah it's kind of like a little time capsule you know so yeah um so yeah i mean it's you know it's it, it is it is kind of cool but you know obviously it's i don't know if it's something i would have done in high school just because i, <laughs> I don't want to put myself out there but some yeah. people did but you know that's yeah i mean that's kind of my deal behind it but it's a, it's yeah. been a lot of fun so yeah. Uh, yeah for sure definitely yeah. wish i either like recorded stuff more in high school or mm-hmm. even during the pandemic and stuff like that yeah. just to catch up with people yeah you know like man i haven't spoke with you for what like yeah. two two and a Maybe half even years longer, or honestly. yeah three years like it's crazy yeah like, like i th- yeah i think like the last time we kind of spoke was i think like that last game because yeah. like i didn't i didn't either the last game or like maybe when i had a game at granada or something yeah I but know. i probably it, wasn't there it, yeah I, i'm sure mike was, was there crazy. but i wasn't there but yeah it's yeah it's cool i mean yeah yeah like shoot like just like whatever a couple months ago like i spoke with brandon yan like i haven't talked yeah. to him in forever either mm-hmm. right like yeah like i don't know it's good catching up with people yeah, um, yeah. yeah. it's kind of cool because like yeah much. like because yan apparently he moved or like his family yeah. moved i didn't yeah, even yeah. know that um, yeah, I like totally forgot too. Yeah. Like, crazy. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, oh shoot, like yeah, and it's, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah, so you move back home, so uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, guys like him and like Jesse. I mean, I try and keep with keep in touch with people as much as I can, but like sometimes you know it's just it's things get, happen and stuff. Yeah, but yeah. I think it, like you know if I didn't do this, I don't know if I would have reached out. You know yeah maybe you know a message here and there like a congratulation message or something yeah but you know it's you know it, it's kind of cool that you know we're still good and you know we're still cool yeah, and stuff sure. so like yeah like yeah like me and yan have been in more i've been more in touch like recently too whether it's you know just little comments on like you know stories or something or just like yeah, yeah. random messages so i think it's nice to have that so um yeah yeah yeah. I mean, yeah, man, I miss all my teammates, you know. I, I miss know. all those guys. It seems like everybody's doing good, you know. Yeah, Whatever I'm happy. They're doing, yeah. You know? yeah. Whether they're in college or mm-hmm. still chasing the dream for playing yeah. ball. Like, mm-hmm. Yeah, there's good. a few. There's a few. Yeah, still yeah. out there playing. So, I know. kudos to them. But yeah, I yeah. Mean, it's good that everyone's kind of got their thing now, and I'm glad. Yeah. Because um, you know we we were a team that played for what like for so long like almost six yeah, years we played, yeah we were a tight-knit group for yeah for a few years yeah, yeah. and yeah. like even though like new faces came and went like it was still like the core you know the core yeah. guys that were there since the beginning so um yeah. yeah it was really it was a ton of fun and you know definitely will miss you know seeing some of those guys and stuff but um, yeah but yeah you know it was I definitely won't won't miss like the running and stuff, but um, oh, dude, I can't do that no more. That was no terrible. More. I think if I do, I think if I do one sprint, I'll just call it a day. But yeah, uh, but yeah, yeah ninety feet is it for me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Speaking of like running, like, have you been like exercising or like working out over? Yeah, I've been, I've been trying to lift a little bit more mm-hmm. during the pandemic. You know, yeah. 
that's one thing I really regret not doing <laughs> like lifting and yeah. like actually like trying to get stronger like mm. I never like seriously like tried yeah. to like actually like bulk up and be yeah. stronger for baseball <laughs> yeah. purposes but like that's one thing I really regret you know mm. yeah like shoot I was like the smallest dude out there you're fast though, yeah. dude. You're you're like oh, dude. I'm nowhere near as fast anymore. Well, you were fast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. at some point <laughs> yeah, in time. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you were yeah, fast and no smart. Way. Like you had a good like IQ and like 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 you knew a lot about the game. So yeah. I think having that on your side is a plus. You know, I mean, yeah. I mean, you're a guy that like set the table and stuff. Get on base. Yeah. Get a guy over or something like that. I mean, didn't you have like a walk off single or something? It was on like Cal High Sport, or was it you? Uh, okay, well, I had a go ahead. It wasn't a walk off. I oh. know Xavier had a walk off. Yeah, against Foothill another time. I think. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. No, I led. I I was. I came in second actually in the league in steals. I think that's crazy. Yeah, behind some guy from De La Salle. But yeah, <laughs> I think I had like twenty or something. I Jeez, man. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. It was weird. I had like the craziest senior year. Mm. Like, it is it was pretty insane. Yeah. I literally thought you were gonna go play somewhere. I thought I thought places were looking at you. You know, I don't know. I always kind of think of that, like if if I could have played in college, but I mean, I probably could have. But yeah. I don't know. I just felt like academics was just I don't know a safer route for me. Yeah. I guess I don't know, mm-hmm. but I definitely miss playing. Like yeah. I wanted to play club and everything at like Cal Poly, mm. but just traveling and like yeah. I don't know, just a lot of time. So, mm. but. Yeah, I definitely miss yeah. it, but yeah, yeah. I think I think I ended on a good note. You know? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you'll take that because I mean, some guys that keep like chasing the dream and stuff. I mean, yeah. you you get faced with a lot of like you know hardships and stuff, whether it be yeah. playing time or struggles, you know, with you know just like prioritizing stuff. Like it get it gets pretty hectic because you know, at, at, like at a time where you're like you know trying to get your classes in. And like trying to like excel at like this sport, it gets kind of you know it gets tiring, you know. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I think like enjoying it while it lasted is some is something I like yeah. to put it. I mean, if you're great at what you do, man, by all means, go ahead. You know, yeah, go to camps and stuff. But yeah, no, um, I think that's one thing that like I never really like understood and like kind of played with like mm-hmm. the whole recruiting process and stuff like yeah. that. Like I never like really tried to get my foot in the door or whatever mm. like yeah. with some schools and stuff like that yeah. i think i went to like one camp or whatever besides like mm. the showcase tournaments i yeah. went to but like mm. you know i think like getting that exposure and stuff like that was one thing that i never really pushed for yeah i like, kind of wish i did mm. you know just to have like a video or something yeah but, yeah you know i don't know it's just like i just never did it mm. but yeah 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 i feel it i don't know it's all good mm. yeah yeah yeah, man, it's crazy. But yeah, man, I I legit thought you, you like I thought you were good enough to play somewhere. Like, <laughs> I I I knew you were good enough to play somewhere. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, all the colleges, you know, they just want size and height. You know, it's sure. these days yeah. and velocity. So yeah. if you have I all those three things, none of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel yeah. it, bro. <laughs> I feel it. Yeah, but man, but you've been you've been lifting though. I see your videos. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, I mean. Like, I first started, like, kind of getting into it, like, I think it was, like, my sophomore year in high school. Mm-hmm. Our coach, like, the varsity coach made all the baseball players take this weights class. Yeah. Um, your your coach probably did, too. Um, no. no. Really? Like really? We had no weights class. Oh, but, yeah, we had this <laughs> weights class. part of the problem, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah, it's just, like, get in there and lift. You know, we don't want any, yeah. like, scrawny guys. But um, I was already, like, you know – kind of a big guy as like like especially as a freshman or like as a sophomore I was I was like big but like fat but like you know I had you know some like strength here and there yeah you're strong yeah but yeah but you had to um, use your size at least yeah. Like, yeah yeah so um started lifting weights there I I thought it was really fun um especially like when you yeah. started you know getting heavier and heavier you know in weight calibers and stuff but I think one thing that uh I, I, you know, didn't know at the time was that, I mean, you could lift all you want. You can get, you know, super strong and stuff, but it's like, I mean, in order for your body to kind of like change and like, you know, lose some weight or, you know, something like that, you had to like kind of do like, do like cardio and stuff and like, 
eating right and stuff because I was still eating like crap like in high school. Yeah, man. Um, and yeah. like I think I started kind of like I lost a little bit of weight. Apparently, like I, I like I, I, I could see it from like pictures, like mm-hmm. old pictures yeah. and stuff. Like I was a little chubby senior year, obviously because of the knee injury, just because I couldn't do anything. But mm-hmm. um, running has been a huge friend of mine over this period of time just because it's, it's the yeah. only thing that I feel like I'm like doing like it's the only like workout I feel like I'm like actually accomplishing something mm-hmm. you know like I'm breaking a sweat so yeah I mean I I mean I'll still you know lift and stuff when I can but obviously stuff's closed I have a couple yeah. friends that have like you know racks in their garage and stuff I'll yeah. go over there and you know use their stuff but I mean, I try and run once every week, so I mean, it's yeah, it's been good to me. So, yeah, um, still on top of my sort of bad dieting, but I mean, I'm I'm just, you know trying. It's hard, yeah. It's, yeah, it's hard, hard to, like diet or like eating well at home, especially. Yeah. You know, yeah. at college, like there's like no snacking. Yeah. I felt like for yeah. me or anything, mm-hmm. but like at home, it's kind of tough. But yeah, I, I need to get back running or mm-hmm. start running. At yeah. Least. Yeah. yeah, and there, there's other stuff too, like even just yeah. like playing hoops and stuff, and just yeah. just moving around. I mean, that's I know. beneficial. So yeah, but yeah, I also feel like snacking in college is kind of tough, just because I mean, the, the you know the stereotype of college students is that they're broke. So yeah. I mean, yeah. saving money where you, when you can is huge. Um, yeah. But yeah, I mean, yeah. Did you have like a job at all before, or like? Did you have a job? Uh, yeah, I worked at I worked at Polo at the oh. outlet. Oh, yeah. okay. That was right. That was yeah after senior year, so right mm. before I went to school. Okay. Yeah. College. Yeah. It is. It was a good job. Yeah. I don't know. His first job is mm. retail. Yeah. Man, is yeah. is like I think I got paid. I want to say it was fourteen or fourteen mm. fifty or something. That's not like bad. That. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't bad. At the I time, think, yeah, not bad. I think I could have squeezed 15 out with the <laughs> amount of work I was doing. Yeah, but yeah, it was, it was really... cool. yeah. 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 It's was, it was crazy, like, working there during the mm. summer, though. Like, oh, yeah. the Livermore outlets. Like, yeah. You know, those, yeah, but, like, like it is crazy. Like, mm. so many people were yeah. out there. Like, our yeah. store is a mess and stuff. But, mm. I don't know. It's it a cool learning yeah. experience. Oh, yeah. Definitely. I don't know. I don't know if I'd do it again, but, <laughs> you know, just yeah, to make some it. money. Yeah, you know, it doesn't hurt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I've heard some things about the outlets. You know, I've heard some things yeah. that I heard the tour buses aren't fun. Um, oh. Kinda <laughs> oh man, dealing with you all see the those pull up, it's it's game over. It's over. It's like yeah, I'm out. <laughs> yep, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, the buses, yeah. man. I just yeah, dealing <laughs> with the tourists is just not fun. But yeah, yeah, that's cool, man. That's crazy. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I know like half those stores right now are like closed because yeah, you know, not a lot are open. Some are open, yeah. but most yeah, of them some are, are closed. Open, yeah. yeah, yeah. And then we got bad air quality. Whatever last week or something is that was the worst. That was crazy. That was terrible. Man. I'm just glad I could see the sky. That I, I'm just glad I could see the blue sky for once, man. Like yeah, it's crazy. Thought I'd never see that again. Um, but apparently, yeah. there's still fires going on. Yep. which is even more insane and then you know you got all you know just the other stuff the pandemic racial injustice yep. i mean it's it's a big yeah, mess big mess man yep. there's a lot going on yeah 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 it's really hard to kind of i guess like comprehend kind of what's going on and like kind of what the next couple years are going to look like i mean yeah shoot at yeah. i mean at this point anything could happen i mean i've kind of yeah. accepted it <laughs> Um, I know, I yeah. know. It's it's interesting time for us, you know. Like, yeah. I think I think you're old enough to vote now, right? Yeah, you're. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. So, mm-hmm. I mean, it's interesting because like this is like actually like the first election we can like participate yeah. in and mm-hmm. stuff like that. You and know? it's an like, important one too. Yeah, for sure. Huge, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's there's a lot going on. So, mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, I think I think it's, it's we have to use our platform. You know, I mm-hmm. think everybody in today's world like with social media or whatever like we all have a, a platform of voice or yeah. opinion whatever yeah. it may be but yeah you know i mm-hmm. think it's it's a good time but also like we need to make the right decisions yeah. and stuff like that yeah. so yeah. yeah and it starts with you know it starts with voting you know um yeah and it starts with change 
like I mean, everyone's been saying, NBA's been saying it, NFL, MLB, it's all every you know, you know, famous people. Everyone's been yeah. saying it. Um, it starts with change. Yeah. Um, I know, like you can still register now, um, so yep. if you can get registered. Um, yeah. And yeah, like we said, I mean, it's a this is a huge it's a huge election. I yeah. mean, no matter who you're voting for, I mean, it's just like you know, you you have the power to say let's like vote. Yeah. I mean, and who cares if your vote doesn't count? You know, yeah. I, I it definitely counts. I hear yeah. that a lot. I hear that a yeah. lot. Oh, my vote doesn't yeah. count. My vote doesn't count. On a, it, it might not, but it, it does to some degree. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. And, you know, without and, and without kind of like doing it, you know, like it's your right, you know, like yeah. this is something that you're born with. And I think, you know, making sure that people understand that it is a right. And it's not just something that like they don't have to do just because they don't know who to vote for. I mean, mm-hmm. then do just a little bit of research. I mean, it, it, it does. It's not that hard. Like, I mean, just. Yeah. Google some of these people, like see what they yeah. stand for, see what they've done, see what they've, you know, w- what they want to do, you know, and mm-hmm. you know, with all this c- conspiracies and the, you know, and, and all the the other political BS aside, I mean, it's, it's, you know, who do you want representing your country, basically, you know, yeah. do you want, you know, whoever's in the White House right now, or do you want, you know, someone new or something, mm-hmm. but it really starts with, you know, voting and. I hope everyone votes. I hope, yeah. you know, I hope everyone can see that it's not just, you know, like you're taking a side. It, it's not. It's it's voting yeah. for who you think should be um, making the calling the shots, you know. So, mm-hmm. yeah. 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 It's, it's crazy, man. It's really crazy. Yeah. I think, like, a big eye opener, at least, like, during this, like, quarantine pandemic period is, like, definitely, like, educating yeah. like myself or whatever other people about like racial injustices too like yeah. i think that's such a big thing right now you know um like i don't know it's it's just crazy like especially being like asian american like during this whole covid thing and like whatever you know how like people looked at asians during this yeah. time i think like definitely like made me look at my culture a little bit more and like um appreciate a lot more of it and kind of not like let those like microaggressions and whatever like jokes like slip through you know because i think like you know we all had like those jokes yeah. and stuff like that yeah. high school and stuff mm-hmm. like that but you know it's 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 like something serious that we mm-hmm. shouldn't like really mess yeah. with and yeah. like i don't know it's just the whole like black lives matter movement and whatever mm-hmm. it's going on right now yeah. like it's it's crazy yeah but you know, it's good to see that like our generation is like really pushing for change. You know, mm-hmm. yeah, like, I think it's yeah. something that's way overdue. But, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like you said about like, especially now, something kind of some have benefited. Like, like you know, both of us is yeah, mm-hmm. like learning and like getting kind of educated. Because before this, mm-hmm. honestly, I didn't pay attention to politics at all. You know, <laughs> and you know, it's kind of cool to kind of you know kind of learn and like kind of see like how you know some of this stuff has played out and like how some things were handled and like it's really mm-hmm. easy to kind of see what's what's right and what's wrong and mm-hmm. obviously with you know some of the you know the big like uh you know deaths of some you know unarmed african americans it's mm-hmm. it's it, it's 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 clear you know that you know something isn't right so yeah for sure. i mean yeah i mean and, and even the covid thing and like you know the the discrimination towards asian americans and stuff like it's like i'm like i was i was so done with that you know i i already had to deal with you know being chinese in a predominantly white town you know as a Mm -hmm. kid um you know being an asian in like the south and stuff um so yeah i mean i've already kind of been through that rodeo and you know now Mm -hmm. having to do it again it was just it was just kind of tiring so i mean i mean the the you know discrimination towards african american people i mean it's it's almost it's it's really insane the way that you know yeah. they're being treated and you know it's i mean and and like we said like it it starts with advocating for change and you mm-hmm. know seeing it and like hopefully someday you know somehow some way like you know yeah people can com- come to a common ground but you know it's yeah. it is what it is um yeah. i know i've talked about this a few times with some other people on um, on this podcast, go check those out. Um, I'll link them down below. Um, but yeah, I mean, 
I think it's cool that like you and I could even talk about this right now. Yeah. You know, because I kind of wanted to talk about it, but I wasn't really sure if. No, you yeah, know, it's it's yeah. it's a good topic to yeah. talk about. You know, it is, it's yeah. it's a touchy subject for some people. It's sensitive, but mm. I think it's something that like should be talked about. You yeah. Know? Yeah, definitely. And yeah, I'm glad, you know, I've, you know, put great people around me that, you know, yeah, can, for sure. can, you know, speak about these things and, you know, yeah. not only just agree with me, but just talk about them. You know, they feel mm-hmm. comfortable talking with me about it. Um, yeah. And, you know, like I have friends that, you know, think both ways, you know, and it's mm-hmm. interesting to kind of see what their um, input is on it mm-hmm. and, you know, what their thoughts are. So I think not only just disagreeing, but at the same time, kind of, you know, learning and kind of yeah. seeing what you know seeing their points on some things is is really important because it's really easy to just go out there and say like if you believe in this person it's wrong or if you mm-hmm. if you support this person you know you're you're part of the issue yeah. i really think it's important that um you kind of learn from both sides before you take action and mm-hmm. you know and, it, and it's really about being smart um in the yeah. things you say and the way you act and the way you carry yourself around people so mm-hmm. um so yeah, man. But yeah, yeah. It was really good catching up with you, bro. Um, yeah, for sure. Kind of approaching yeah. the hour mark, but I mean, it's it's all yeah. good. But um, yeah. before like we kind of end this thing, did you want to like shout anything out? You got anything going on in your life that we might want to look out for? Ah, nothing much. You know, I just really happy that you reached out to yeah. talk to me. You know, it's yeah. it's been a long time, but mm-hmm. man, it's such good good talk yeah just catching up with you you yeah. know it was like we haven't skipped a beat yeah. It's just, oh yeah 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 it's that's how yeah really that's nice how time. it is like with, with most of the people i have you know it's yeah like it's well, most of the time it's like i know like we were cool and like yeah i don't know if, like and then i don't know i know i ne- like it's just something in the back of my head it's like oh like you know what if they change or something but it's great uh, to see yeah. that like everyone that i've talked to is just it's like you know good old days so um yeah even though things have changed in our lives, it's kind of cool to see, um, to kind of, yeah, you know, it's, yeah. I mean, it's great fun, good fun. Um, yeah. I mean, guys, do yourself a favor, follow Phil down below. Um, his Insta is on the screen and in the description, you have any other accounts you want to like shout out or kind of, just nah, other than that, no, that's yeah. about it. All right, that power so count is pretty, is pretty <laughs> low key. But yeah, yeah, I got we'll you. See what that happens with that. Yeah, yeah. Phil Lou, everyone, <laughs> appreciate you coming on, bro. Um, yeah, uh, thanks for coming on, man. Um, hopefully, you guys made it to the end. Drop a like if you enjoyed it. Uh, comment down below if you if you found something insightful. Um, yeah. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. I mean, shoot. I got 83 subscribers right now. I didn't even know that. Um, Let's get 100. Yeah, if you can get me at 100, Let's get 100. man. 100. You can get me at 100, man. I'll, I'll do something cool. I'll, I'll do something cool one of these days. Um, yeah. I'm kind of not really sure what, what, like how many episodes I'm gonna have in this season. Um, so we'll kind of just play that by ear. I might take a like a two week break or something, but I don't know. We'll all let you guys know. Um, but yeah, uh, if you made it to the end, like, subscribe, comment um share this video if you can and uh yeah we'll see you guys in the next one peace